So soft. Actually stale? Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with Rich, my husband, Hi. who I'm sure you guys all know. We thought it'd be fun to film some videos together. It was Rich's idea. Can, I feel like I can't. Can you just <laughs> back him? Come check. It was Rich's idea. He was like, I want to do some baking videos with you. But in all honest truth, neither of us know how to bake, and that's why we don't really ever do it because we're always worried that we're going to fail and it's going to taste like crap. So we thought it would be good to film us like learning how to bake. So we're not trying to teach you anything. We're not trying to pretend we're any good. We know we are terrible at baking. But we're just going to bring you along for the ride whilst we probably mess up a lot of cakes. Because we've got all the gear and no idea. Exactly. We've got the fancy kitchen and we don't even know how to bake. I came up with a genius name yesterday. Fake it till you bake it. All right, all right. I haven't even Googled to see if anyone else already has that name. But I'm just going to go with it. It's not like we're making it into a TV show. It's just on YouTube. Although, saying that, let us know if you want to see this on YouTube here. Or if you prefer it on like Instagram. We were trying to think. I was like... If I put it on Instagram stories, it only lasts for 24 hours, which seems like a shame. If I put it on IGTV, I don't know if anyone even likes IGTV. So let me know what you guys would prefer. But today's episode of Fake It Till You Bake It, we are going to clear out our larder, which some people call a pantry. Yep. Um, we're going to clear it out because we haven't done that in so long. It's full of so much crap, like stale rice cakes. And then we're going to like write a list of what baking supplies we need. Because I feel like when you're baking, you just need to have like those things in the cupboards, you're like, oh, I make yeah. cookies today, and then we never have the stuff that you need. Like the flour. Yeah, so we're gonna write a list, go out and buy the stuff, stock our larder full of baking essentials. <gasps> Can we go to like Lakeland? Lakeland? Lakeland. Lakeland. Because they have all these like cool contraptions as well. Yeah, but we don't need more gear. Oh, thank you. Let's just buy the essentials, clear our larder, and that's what this episode is going to be. So we're not even baking in the first one. No, let's just put no, it off I as long as possible. <laughs> um, if you can hear some noise in the background, it is our child who's pretty happy playing over there with her little IKEA play gym. But we might have to go and like entertain her every now and again. This is very casual. Let's just see what happens. Go. Oh, we, what are we doing? Are we like going to time lapse right, this? Uh, like a like a time lapse. Yeah. Let's just let's just see what happens. Top. I think we need to make like a baking area. On the left hand side we have like spices and loads of random stuff and like spice things that we don't even use. On the right hand side we have like teas and a few sauces that are probably out of date. We've got some cookbooks, we've got a crock pot. That's meant to be baking area but it seems to turn into like Rich's weird stuff area. And then we've got some bottles, we've got like grains and things which are all like not really full. We've got five million bottles of these from like the early days of when we started on formula. We don't actually use these anymore. I'm aware they're a massive waste of plastic, um, but we now just, we just have them from the beginning when we panicked and I'm just, we're just gonna keep them just in case. We have a microwave, we have a bread bin, we have a Vitamix and we have some cookies and a hot milk thingamajig. I don't think we're gonna bother with these today. But what we should do, Rich, is just make sure we have all the kind of parchment paper baking yeah, things. We have. Look. Yeah, look, we've got some stuff. Oh, I thought those were like the heater racks. No, we've got parchment paper. <laughs> we've, even got, we've got reusable... Beeswax Storage wrap. things. Okay, so let's just see what we've got, and then we'll Nothing. assess the situation. This is the situation over here. You alright over there? Yeah, because they're the ones unable. Oh yeah, May 2019. Oh my god, wait, I haven't even looked at it. 2017. Oh my god, that's off too! So, can you give Is that a white? Because right? you're taller than me. 2018. Rich, can you give that a white? Yeah. Ian Hayes' new book. Very good. Oh, she's not scared of anything. She didn't jump. We both jumped. <laughs> We just found pregnant care hidden behind from when no one knew I was pregnant. Now we're going to clean the shelves with our method surface cleaner. No? What have we got now? Oh, we've got that Yobi one. Yope. Yope. That's what we're using at the moment. We flick between this and method, both very similar. I think we're going to need a trip to Ikea for some more storagey things. I love Ikea. 
Right, I've got my label maker. This is just a Dymo one from Amazon. I've had it for years. So I'm just gonna do a thing for quinoa. Basically spelled quinoa. Spelled it wrong. Q-U-I-N-O-A. Did it! Is that how you spell it? Yes! Okay, you did spell it right. Have faith. Okay, we're just clearing this second shelf. Again, it's lots fine. of things gone off. Guys, I would recommend doing this a little bit more often. Sorry, it's so bright. Skylight. gone to play with grey I'm going to start on the doors um, I've taken some of the kind of sources out which I think we need to get new versions of and then I'm just gonna go, go through everything I don't know what the best way to store tea is we've got so many different types of tea at the moment they're just kind of like this it does look a bit messy though I don't know if there's like a better way to get rid of the nursing tea that's for sure Rich do you want the desiccated coconut I definitely don't need that do you This side is so messy. Rich, do you use the calcium and magnesium complex? Okay, I've just cleared out the spices rack. So I think I'm going to leave them in these, which are like the things that you buy them in. We've got these, but I find it a bit of a faff to fill it and label it. And I think, you know, maybe it doesn't look as pretty, but it's definitely convenient. So I'm going to get rid of these. And then we've just got random things here like miso paste. We've got these kind of ramen sachets and udon noodles. That's kind of it for that side, actually. Okay, I'm gonna write a shopping list of things that we need to get, so anything that was out of date or ran out, and then also like just some baking essentials that we don't have. So like vegetable stock, vegetable oil, plain flour, self-raising flour, I think we've got icing sugar, baking powder. We've come to Ikea, and we're now just sitting in the car while Gray sleeps, because this is the reality of behind the scenes of a YouTube video with us, which is having my lunch because I didn't like it. I want to get an Ikea hot dog. Ikea essential. Okay, this is what we need. So they've got the small ones and then they've also got these bigger ones. So it is a big one. I wrote a list, one minute. Okay, now to Tesco for all the supplies. Here's is our Tesco haul, um, plus a few things I didn't need, like a cute coat and a little hat for grey. Um, but all the baking supplies and some other bits that we need to pick up as well. Kind of in starting this um, because now we're kind of chasing the light and um, we've got to get back film the rest of this video before it gets dark in the kitchen but it's half four and Grey normally starts like her bedtime routine at five this was Rich's idea and I said that we wouldn't have time so it's a little bit later on we got home and it was a bit chaotic because Grey fell asleep in the car and then when we got back and she woke up it was like time for bath and bed and stories and we got into the whole nighttime routine and then we came downstairs and it was like chaos in the kitchen because of all the stuff that we cleared out needed throwing away. So we had to take a little break from filming. Rich has gone to get us takeaway because it's Saturday night and I actually got on and organized the cupboard. So I thought I would just show you what it looks like because I'm very happy with the almost pretty much finished result. So now on this first shelf, we have all our bits like peanut butters and the pasta sauces. Actually, I don't know why Rich has put that there. I think the pasta sauces can go in the drawer things that we kind of need to get to quickly and don't go in a drawer. Then in this middle section is our baking selection. So we get everything, pretty much everything that we need. We've got demerara sugar, caster sugar, granulated sugar. So three types of sugars there. We've got vanilla extract, almond extract. I think we could probably have got a nicer one, but they only had that one. Bicarbonate of soda, baking powder, dark muscovado, so that's for like special bakes, icing sugar, uh, cocoa powder and then we've got self-raising and plain flour at the back and I think that's a pretty good little baking selection if you guys think we're missing anything that's like an essential please let us know and then over here all the containers from Ikea so we've got little pastas for soup barley couscous quinoa and then we've got rice at the back we've got penne pasta one of those empty it's going to be for oats my sister just borrowed all of our oats and then spaghetti at the back there and then at the top we've got all our drinks and the formula stuff things we don't need that often like refills of soy sauce this is a cookie jar i have to put it up here otherwise my nephew soren eats them all 
uh, Rich's kind of workout stuff, and then some cookbooks. It looks so much better. Oh, I love it. I just need to organize the drawers when I get time, but the shelves, especially like this section, very satisfying right now. So there it is, my larder, clear out, sort out, reorganization, and little baking supplies haul. I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to baking. Let us know what you would like us to bake. I'm thinking for the first one, we either do a honey cake or an apple cake, because those are two things that my mom's very good at making, and she has like a recipe and we could give them a go. And Rich loves honey cake, I love apple cake. So maybe cast your vote below, that could be fun. Let me know if you'd prefer us to make a honey cake or an apple cake. And yeah, let's see. Fake it till you bake it. <laughs> see you guys in my next video. Bye.